He says in verse 2, And be not conformed to this world. We know that means don't let the world squeeze you into its mold. Okay? <clears throat> but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What does that mean? That means instead of letting the world shape you, you allow God to shape you and you let what is in you out as your mind is renewed. Now notice, your mind, your, your life cannot be transformed if your mind is not renewed. And now think about that. Now, you can say, but I, but I got born again. Yeah, and God recreated your spirit. And when you die, you'll go to be with him. Or if he comes back soon, he'll take you, whatever it is. But regardless of that, his, your spirit is connected to him. But now you, your life may not be transformed because your mind is not renewed. This is why we have Christians in church for 20, 30, 40 years still struggling with the same problems that they had before they got born again. This is why. Why? Because their spirit's changed, but their mind, which leads to actions, is not changed. And if your mind, which leads to actions, is not changed, your life will not be transformed. It's that simple. And that word transformed literally means to let what is in your spirit out through your flesh and in through your soul and let the, let the world around you see what is in you because it comes out of you because your life is being transformed. Now, it's the same word, metamorphosis, where we get the word metamorphosis, where we also understand how caterpillars become butterflies. Why? Because a caterpillar can look like a caterpillar, but inside, it's a butterfly. And so that eventually, that butterfly inside gets out, right? Well, with us, the, the eventually is caused by the renewing of our mind. So to let what's in you out, your mind must be renewed, right? Which is a process, but it doesn't have to be a totally long process. You know, it is amazing. I've read several things recently in doing some of the research for this. I find very few, well, one, <laughs> Christian scholars that believe that we can be transformed literally into the likeness and image of Christ in this life. It is amazing. Because with all the scriptures, as he is, so are we in this world. With all the different scriptures that talks about how we are to grow up into him in all things. All of that is here and now. That none of those are future in the sense of the next life. They're all supposed to happen while we are here in this body, in this life. And yet, well, the one person I found that disagreed with all the other scholars was not even technically a scholar. But he was a Bible student, a Bible teacher, and he's the only one that actually says that we should be able to accomplish this in this life. All the others say, matter of fact, I was even shocked because as I was reading several different uh, aspects of this from different authors, all, well, all but, okay, so let's say we got 10 we got the one that says we can attain this now. <clears throat> then there were nine others, and out of those nine, eight of them said that when Jesus returns, we will be changed, and at that point, we will instantly grow up in, into Christ. Eight out of ten. Now, so we've already talked about nine out of ten. So what about that other one? Well, guess what this other one said? He said... We will never, even in eternity, never grow up to be like Jesus. Now, think about that. And he talks specifically, he says, and it can't be because our minds are finite and God is infinite. So, therefore, we can never attain the mind of Christ. But Paul said, we have the mind of Christ. All we got to do is grow up into it. You ever buy a 
clothing that you couldn't fit into right then? But you bought it in faith. Right? Now, I know this is exactly the reverse of what I'm talking about because the, the suit of clothes that we have to grow up into is bigger than us. So we have to grow up into that to fit that suit called Jesus. So, but there have been times, even as a, maybe we'll just go back to children, you know, childhood. Were there ever times whenever your parents bought you clothes and they say, well, he, he won't fit right now, but he'll grow into it. Well, that's what Jesus said. He said, yeah, well, he doesn't fit it right now, but he'll grow into me. Don't worry. And guess what? That's not an eternity future. What good does it do for us to look like Jesus in the next life? It only does good for the kingdom if we grow up quickly here and look like him here. 